Okay, so the first thing you're gonna learn when you barefoot water ski is to get up directly on the bar off the side of the boat. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna learn when you barefoot water ski is to get up directly on the bar off the side of the boat. It's gonna be relatively high. You're gonna place your feet over the cable that leads to the nose of the boat. And as the boat starts to take off, you're gonna drive your hips as far up to the sky as you can, put your head and shoulders back into the water. It's gonna pop you up on top of the, the, uh, the water. It's gonna stop the spray hitting you in the face. In that position, you can sit up into your butt ride. Now from here, it's a pretty easy glide. You should be pretty relaxed, abs tight, knees together stops the spray. From there, you can take your feet off the cable again, ride on your butt. Then you can come what, to what we call as a three point. Your knees stay together, your feet come back, your shoulders come to your knees. This is a fundamental position of your barefoot water skiing. You should be able to come up and down into this position as much as you want to. It's a stable, safe position. From there, take the pull, sit in that three point, keep your back square as you stand, press evenly down on both feet, come up into your two foot stance. So for the boom start, your feet are on the cable, you're going to drive your hips up into the air, slowly sit up into a butt ride position. From there you can take your feet off, slowly come into your three point position with your arms straight, feet back to your butt. Once you're stable, in control and see where you're going, keeping your arms straight, slowly press down equally on both feet into a good two foot barefoot position. There are some common mistakes in the deep water start. First and foremost is on the initial get up out of the water. If you don't throw your hips up far enough into the air, you're going to get spray coming over the side of you, hitting you in the chest and straight up into your face. So really try and drive your hips up as much as you possibly can. Secondly, when you sit up, you've got to do it smoothly. You've got to engage your core. If you just sit up really abruptly, your butt's going to hit the water. It's going to make you bounce a little bit. Okay, so nice and smooth on that point. Now, if you find like you're getting a lot of spray in your face when you're butt riding, chances are your knees are apart, like you're giving birth. It's going to send the water in between them it's going to put you straight in the face so knees together squeeze from that position the most common mistake we see on this deep water start is people take their feet off and drop them straight in the water with their legs straight this sends you bouncing everywhere it sends a spray you're going to skip and you're going to fall right so control it take your feet off slowly come to that three point position with your feet back to your butt from there you should be clean sailing so when driving for a deep water start you want to slowly accelerate to around 20 mile an hour so the, the skier can butt ride easily and cleanly on, on the, uh, the bar. From that position, when they take their feet off and come to a three point, once they're sitting in it, they can slowly accelerate up to their barefoot speed. Another start that we can do is on a wake skate. From here, you can sit about two thirds of the way back on the board. Pinch your feet under the front, it's gonna stop the board wobbling on the start. Once the boat takes off and you're up to maybe 10, 15 miles an hour, you can take your feet off, place them in the water, and then sit there in that three point position. Knees together, stop any spray hitting you in the face. Arms relaxed and straight, look where you wanna go. From that position there, the driver can increase the speed to your barefoot speed. Slowly push down equally on your feet. As you stand, the board will disappear out the back without you doing anything, and you can stand up into your two foot barefoot stance. So on the wake skate start, you want to be sitting about two thirds of the way back, feet pinched underneath the front of the board to stop it moving from side to side. The boat can take off when you feel steady and secure. Put your feet in the water into a three point stance. As the boat increases speed and you feel comfortable, you can slowly press down with your arms straight, stand up to a normal barefoot position and the board will disappear. Common mistakes on this wake skate start is where you position your butt on the board. If you're too far back, it's going to bounce. If you're too far forward, the nose of the board is going to dip underneath the water on the start and it's going to get swept out. Apart from that, it's just down to the driver. As long as they keep it at a slow, steady speed until your feet are in the water, you'll be fine. The progression from the bar to the short line to the long line when you're on the wake skate is pretty much the same. The only difference is when you go to the long line, you're going to edge outside the wake at a slow speed, take your feet off into the three-point position, the boat driver will increase the speed and you can stand up outside the wake. A commonly used start is the water ski step off. Stand up on the monoski. Once you're good and steady, you can place the, the bare foot in the water next to the other foot. Once you're in this good, strong position, transfer the weight, slowly let the ski come back, place it in the water as that, that ski comes off, and you're barefooted. Okay, water ski step off. You're gonna stand up on your monoski like you normally would. You're gonna take that back foot out the binding and place it in the water next to your other foot. 
Once you're transfer the weight all the way onto that bare foot, you can pick your foot out the binding, place it in the water next to the other one, and you two foot bare foot position. A common mistake in this step off is that when you take your foot out the binding, you can slam the foot down real hard in the water. That's gonna make that foot sink, you're gonna fall. So when you take it out, try and place it in the water as gently as you can, that way you're gonna be safe. The progression from the step off from the boom to the long line is the same thing. The only difference is that when you're long line, you're gonna edge outside the wake before you take your foot out the back binding. Then you can place it in the water and stand up.